back to our Path to the Plate Poultry Edition. We're calling today day one plus because today will be day one that our eggs are going inside of our incubator. So let's talk about what an incubator is. I'll show you our eggs. And finally, we'll talk about the anatomy that's inside the egg. So on the farm, the mama hen would normally lay on top of her eggs to keep them warm and to hatch the chicks. Now, we can't have a hen in our office, so we have to use something that's called an incubator. This is an incubator. The white stuff that it's made of is called styrofoam. Styrofoam is an excellent material for something like this because it's an insulator, meaning that it holds heat extremely well. And that's important for our eggs. The first part of our incubator that we're going to talk about today is this thermometer. This thermometer has a screen that tells us two things. It tells us the humidity that's inside the incubator as well as the temperature. The temperature is very important because the eggs won't start to grow until they're warm and if they get too hot, they'll die. You'll end up with scrambled eggs. So our eggs need to be between 99.5 and 100 degrees. Our temperature reader, our thermometer, tells us that we're good to go. The next part of this particular incubator is super awesome. This part right here, this circle, is called a fan, and it circulates the air inside the incubator. That helps regulate the temperature so that all the eggs, even the ones in the very corner, are the same temperature as the ones in the middle. That helps all the eggs grow ap appropriately. So this is the fan. The next part of our incubator is called the egg turner. This little contraption right here is super awesome. On the farm, the mama hen would normally get up and roll the eggs around with her beak. But again, we have to be the mama hen, so we use an egg turner. This metal disc right here is a motor, and it actually turns these planes back and forth super slowly. You can barely see it but all day long it's rotating them back and forth. The eggs sit in these little holes right here and get turned. The turning of the eggs helps make sure that no part of the egg gets stuck to the inside of the shell. That helps them grow uh, appropriately and helps make sure we have healthy chicks at the end of our incubation period. The next part of our incubator is our water tray. Remember when I said the word humidity? That's where this comes into play. Humidity is the amount of water that's in the air. We need humidity between 45 and 55 percent for most of our incubation period. The way that we increase our humidity is this water tray. We'll end up putting water all along these little rivers until we reach the correct percentage of humidity. We'll probably have to add water every other day as you'll lose some humidity um, overnight. So the water tray goes on the bottom. Our egg turner goes on next. And then you'll put the eggs inside your egg turner and turn it on. Besides watching for the humidity every day, you really just leave them alone. It's like that kitchen thing. You set it and you forget it. But you gotta check the humidity, don't forget that. Now, this is our egg. It's important mm. that you notice the anatomy of the egg that's in my hand. There's a big end and a small end. You can see that it's a little pointier down here. That's important because on the bigger end, there's an air cell. That comes into play with allowing the chick to breathe while it's growing inside. So, when you set your eggs in your incubator, you need to make sure that the pointy end goes down so that the air cell is up on top. All right, so as you can tell, everybody knows that this part is called the shell, right? It's hard and it's made of calcium. Now, you might be thinking this is a completely solid piece of calcium. It's very hard, but you'd be wrong. Microscopically, meaning you can't see it without a microscope, there's over 17,000 pores 
in this shell. Pores allow air and moisture to come in and out from within the egg. That helps keep the egg healthy and allows good things in and bad things to stay out. The next part of our egg, outside of the shell, between the shell and the inside are membranes. It's like a really thin piece of sheet that's in there that helps keep the bad bacteria out and doesn't let the chick get sick. We've already talked about the air cell that's sitting up here and helps the chick grow to be healthy and strong. Now, if you've cracked open an egg while you're making breakfast, you've probably noticed that there's a white part and a yellow part. That white part is called the albumen. It comes from Latin and it means white. The albumin has over 40 different proteins that make it healthy, but it's, it's made of mostly water. The yellow part of the egg is called the yolk. This is where most of your nutrients come from nutritiously. Inside that yellow yolk, there's iron, vitamin A, vitamin D, phosphorus, calcium, and lots of other vitamins and nutrients that make it an excellent protein source. Sometimes, depending on what breed the chicken was, or maybe what the mama hen was eating, that yolk can be maybe light yellow or dark yellow, but nutritiously, they're all the same. So, we're gonna go ahead and put our eggs inside our incubator. We're gonna turn it on and put it in a safe, quiet place that won't, so it won't get bumped. And tomorrow, we're gonna talk about what ha has happened between our eggs from day one to day two, because I'll let you know they're gonna start growing